Evan, so good to see you today at the uh, 10th anniversary of the 2010 Olympics. How does it feel to be here? It's so great being back here to celebrate, you know, as you say, 10 years since Vancouver 2010. I was a 20-year-old kid uh, on reading break from university and just getting to enjoy that experience and be inspired by, you know, all of our great athletes and, and all the performances and, and the community that really came together. I mean, that was the best thing I took away from Vancouver was just that, that atmosphere of everyone coming together, taking to the streets, celebrating just, that, you know, that two-week party of, of just in you know coming together around sport and enjoying sport and, and all that all that came with it it was so much fun tell me a special memory yeah my, my best memory from the games is definitely watching that gold medal hockey game crosby's golden goal uh watching at a friend's place just you know probably 10 of us in the room just all just jumping up and down going crazy heading from his place out on the streets and just being a part of that moment you know with thousands of other people in the streets just high five and strangers singing out canada uh, just that, that whole experience of like bringing this, the city and the country together was, was so fantastic. And uh, I've been a spectator at two Olympics and I've been a competitor at one Olympics. And being a spectator, I definitely have more memories, more happy, fun memories. Because when, when you're an athlete, you're competing, you're in that bubble, you're very you know, focused on what you have to do. And as a spectator, you just get to go out there and have fun and watch and enjoy and, and be a part of the moment. And I, I have so many good memories from 2010. What's next for you, Evan? Yeah, so I'm, I'm gearing up. I'm training hard towards uh, Tokyo. So I'm, I'm, that's the goal, trying to win a medal in Tokyo this summer and um, you know, just to see what I can do. So putting in the work, I'm back home for a few months. I'm excited to sleep in my own bed and, <laughs> and train around the seawall here in Vancouver and just get that work done in the last, last little bit because the games are approaching really quickly. Yes, and good for you. And uh, I'd like to have you on the show again. Yeah, I'd love to come back on. It was always so, it's always so much fun chatting to you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Bonjour, Guimond. Bonjour, ça va bien? Oui, ça va bien. Et um, ton event, c'est de speed, tra speed skating. Yep. So um, tell us about that. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, it's amazing. Like, it's been already 10 years. So it's good to be back. It's uh, the first time I'm back since uh, the games. So everything like feels like it was before, like just walking around the cauldron and like just seeing the airport, like being seeing old friends so it's it's a great event it's a great like pride that we had uh, in 2010 and it's good to remember it yeah so tell us about your your training leading up to the 2010 olympics how it was intense of course but um how does it make you become a better better person being an olympian oh it's a it's a large question but <laughs> yeah it was like training is so is so intense like leading up to uh, olympic games like we want to we want to peak we want to be at our best so uh it's years and years of training like day day after day uh, at that time we're like training six times a week two times a day like so it's it's a lot of hours and how it makes me a better person i think it's uh, how rigorous you get and like how organized you have to be i also uh, managed to do to do my school like while i was training so i had to be like really like planned out and like year after years i knew pretty much what i had to do like at skating and for school so it was kind Mais of a, <laughs> yeah exactly like con uh, complimenter les deux par en sorte que l'école et le patin aillent bien it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty hard. It's pas difficile de 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 faire euh, étude et sport, le, de combiner le sport et l'étude. Donc, euh, je pense que de l'avoir accompli, c'est 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 une des fiertés aussi que j'ai comme athlète. Oui, mais c'est maintenant ce en vie en vacances à Vancouver. Qu'est-ce que tu restes à Montréal? Oui, exact. En fait, c'est le début de mes vacances justement. <rire> euh, je viens ici célébrer les, les 10 ans, euh, un petit voyage. Après, on va aller profiter des montagnes un petit peu. On n'a pas d'aussi belles montagnes à Montréal. Donc, euh, on va venir ici faire un peu de ski puis euh, prendre euh, relaxer. Oui, le faire le jogging peut-être? Ah, jogging. <rire> Et my old knees, uh, not sure. <rire> But uh, plus, uh, plus du ski, like yeah. smooth and go down in the powder, hopefully. Yes. So that, that's the plan. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Merci à toi. Well, that's a wrap for our show, Run With It. And thanks for watching. If you have a question or comment about today's episode, go to our website on the screen. Until next time, run with it.